Hi, and welcome back to the University of Momar. My name is Chris, and I work at Momar Sales Support Department. Did you know that disinfection, sanitization, and sterilization don't all share the same meaning? Although all three words are used to describe microbial control, some people may incorrectly use them interchangeably. They each describe different mechanisms of reducing microbial or pathogenic populations, which makes it critical to know the difference when deciding which chemical agents to use to fight off those potentially harmful bacteria. According to the EPA, sanitization refers to a chemical agent that reduces, but not necessarily eliminates, microorganisms to safe levels judged by public health standards. To be an effective sanitizer, in general, it has to reduce the bacterial count by 100,000 fold in less than a minute. Sanitizers don't necessarily work on bacterial spores, however it may be able to reduce the numbers in a rinsing application as they lift them off of hard surfaces. Disinfection is a chemical destruction or irreversible inactivation of a microorganism. It usually requires a contact time of 10 minutes, but you can find out more information by looking at the product label. Sterilization is a validated process used to kill all free forms of viable microorganisms, including their spores. One type of sterilizer includes steam pressure applications such as autoclaving, which uses high temperature and pressure to kill cells. Other methods include dry heat, low temperature toxic gas, or the use of a liquid sterilant. Momar does not make any liquid sterilization products. Microorganisms come in all shapes and sizes, with a variety of chemical makeups that make them unique, like a specific lock that matches a specific key. Momar's disinfectants do not depend on the type of lock to break it open, rather they act more like a battering ram, allowing our disinfectants to be effective on a wide range of microorganisms, even if they've mutated or have become resistant. Here is a diagram describing the potency of disinfectants with your more potent cold sterilant on the left, your hospital strength disinfectant in the middle, and your less potent sanitizer on the right. Sporocytals have the ability to kill spores when used in sufficient concentrations under suitable conditions whereas broad spectrum disinfectants can kill viable microorganisms but may not destroy their spores. Most disinfectants only kill living cells which is why you can only assume that we are controlling the microbial population by reducing the population back down to safe levels. We only carry hospital strength disinfectants, broad spectrum disinfectants, or sanitizers. Sales Support has already listed our disinfectants and sanitizers into different categories. Go on to www.momarbroadcast.com, log in, and search for the forwardable email by entering the search words when germs attack. When it pops up, go ahead and click on the download PDF button. Once the file is loaded, we can view a list of products categorized into disinfectants and sanitizers. Although we have listed in here a variety of hand sanitizers and soaps, they fall under the FDA's guidelines, while everything else, such as hard surfaces, falls under the EPA's jurisdiction, which is our focus for this tech talk. If you scroll down and look at First Mate Concentrate, Sometimes the concentration or intensity of an antimicrobial agent can determine whether the product is a disinfectant or a sanitizer. To determine which concentrations first mate concentrate can be used at to be a disinfectant or a sanitizer, go to momarhaystack.com and type in the search word first mate concentrate. Click on the link and scroll down to the download section. Once the TDS is downloaded, scroll down and you'll see the different dilution rates and the quat concentration that determines whether it's a sanitizer, disinfectant, or virucidal. You can also look at the product label. If you look at the directions on the product label, it will tell you which concentration of the ready-to-use solution will perform the desired result. 
You can also refer to the label of any product for more detailed instructions on dilution rates, contact times, and contact surfaces. Momar's Ready Set Go is also another effective hospital grade multi-surface disinfectant. Both First Mate and Ready Set Go are registered with the federal EPA, which allows them to be labeled as a disinfectant. If there is ever any confusion as to whether or not a product is a disinfectant or a sanitizer, look for the EPA registered number on the label. If it does not have that number, it cannot be considered as a disinfectant. I hope you have found this Tech Talk helpful when deciding which applications to use to help prevent the spread of microbial populations, whether that be in hospitals, food grade facilities, or for general cleaning purposes. For more detailed information on Momar's sanitization and disinfection chemicals, go to the MomarHaystack.com or you can always give Momar Sales Support a call. From the University of Momar, I'm Chris. Good luck and good selling!